Whenever we can bond as a team, I always want to try to integrate that. I'm a big movie guy, so whenever there's a movie, you know, it's on me. What was the movie? Gemini. Gemini, that's, that's how you say it? Okay. You always learn something new. You know, when we were winning championships here in the early 90s, Phil Jackson made sure that we were all together as one, not just on the basketball court. You don't get a small popcorn? Read the coupons. Zach provided the movie, so, you know, why not provide the uh, refreshments and where we can all enjoy ourselves and have a good time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you've got to have chemistry. If you have good chemistry, guys like each other, it's going to be positive on the floor and you're going to win games. Got us some popcorn, got us some waters and stuff to drink. We were taking care of our bodies, but eating popcorn at the same time. Popcorn, like the kettle corn seasoning. I'm Jim Man, best version of myself. One of the few times as a whole team gotten together to do something like that. It's cool to do that every now and then. Camaraderie is very important, and I'm, I've always been a big chemistry guy on teams. Free popcorn, free drinks. Exactly the experience. <laughs> <laughs> We did a movie night back when uh, Space Jam came out. Michael had a, a premiere showing and took everybody out. You know, hopefully I have a movie that come out and I can go take everybody to see, but you know, until then, we're gonna go watch other people's movies. <laughs> Thank you, Zachariah. <laughs>
Honestly, someone told me. <laughs> you know, well, honestly, I didn't realize that. I think it's, oh, even what... rebounds and uh, steals. Yeah. Someone told me the other day. I, yeah. I didn't even know how much I have or how many else. I really yeah. don't know. I just know it's somewhere down there. So, but that's amazing. We had drafted Kirk. Yeah. And when I was talking to Jerry about our team, like we were kind of we didn't have a lot of assets, so we bought the Phoenix pick at number seven. Yeah. And we got. You at seven and Ben at Bennett three. Four. Ben at ben, ben three. three. Yeah, three yeah. We signed Noach yeah. that summer. Yeah. And it completely yeah. got our thing going. Yeah, so no, that's it was, amazing. It was big time. Was big no, time. it was amazing. Yeah, was so I mean, um, you called Gary. Said you wanted to do this. Yeah. When I, I was nervous when I called, honestly, <laughs> I just I didn't know. So I'm just happy that you know it all worked out. You go ahead and sign, and then initial. There's just three pages to okay. initial where it says player. So, okay. and then once you're done, John can do it. And all right. Then, you're good to go. All right. And then it's official. It's official. official. You did a, a lot of great things for the organization. Awesome. You've been a good man, too. That's a perfect boy. Perfect man. Perfect awesome. man. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. So you're right. You know, Joaquin was over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Good. I learned a lot living in Chicago. My whole life I was moving around a lot. Chicago was the first place really that I just settled down. We were the youngest team in the league at that time, the Baby Bulls. For me with Kirk, Ben, and Noach, they were older than me. They kind of took me under their wings. We built a culture where we started playing so hard. Nothing was given in practice. Everybody every day was competing so hard for those spots and the playoffs became a target every year after that. When Joe was drafted, his energy, being a big guy who can pass. Get up, get up, or get out the way, Paul Pierce. He's very passionate. And roll, oh, the reverse. Everyone wanted Derek, and I think when we got him, the energy from the city just took off. Derek being so good, and the city loving Derek, everyone got to see us and how hard we play. We're going to Boston for game seven. It kind of got an identity of the hardest worker. Luol was the guy who in the dirty work guarding the best player, rebounding, running, playing all the minutes. And that's really how I became the glue guy. Honestly, for me, the year that I thought we were gonna win it, when we were going through the playoffs, we just being everyone and we knew we weren't playing our best until we met Miami in the Eastern Conference Final. Here's Dang from center court. Five. Yes! That year was our year. I remember we beat them by 20 something at home, but you know, we didn't uh, advance. There's a lot you don't realize when you're in a league or when you're on one team for so long. After 10 years, you start to realize that it was more than basketball. Even coming to the arena felt different everywhere else than it did here. You see many of us come and go a lot crazy. Time flies. You don't realize it when you're young. Uh, you know, those people were actually helping you grow up as a man. The NBA has changed so much, and you could see the teams that are winning, how close they are, even with our Chicago Bulls team earlier. And that's what I would tell these guys, I think. Don't just show up to just play basketball. I think show up to make each other better. That's how you become a winning team. You just got to have that unity, and you just got to be special together. I was proud, you know, I was proud to be a bull. I was proud of what I'm doing, the work that I'm putting in. No one really predicts when it's going to end. And uh, for me, I kind of knew ahead of time, like, this is the time for me. Uh, there's so many things that I want to do off the court. I want to do more with my foundation. I want to help people. I want to help build basketball in Africa and South Sudan. There's a lot of refugee kids that really want to follow my footsteps and achieve their dreams. Honestly, I'm just happy that being 34, I gave 15 of being professional, and that's enough for me. I want to say thank you for always supporting me and, you know, sticking with my journey. Uh, I appreciate every minute of it. And to the organization for allowing me to retire as a bull, it's something that I will always remember, not only the first day that I walked in, but uh, the last day that I'm walking out of the game. Uh, thank you very much. We're going to a haunted house. Don't really know what to expect. Maybe scared a couple times. Growing up, I don't want... Like, I want to say I wasn't really scared of anything, like, specific. Just everything was scary. I'm not looking forward to this anymore. 
Hey. You guys will be fine. That's what you say now. Um, have you ever done a haunted house before? Do you know what to expect? No. <laughs> Do you like anything scary? No. <laughs> I think we should put this on him. <laughs> What the heck was that? Oh, oh my god. Oh hell no. Oh, you okay, that got me. <laughs> Let me see the light. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I hate that thing. That's the most scariest thing ever. I got scared of that bookshelf. Go ahead. No, no. Go. No. Go. I'm right behind you. Okay, what is happening here? I'm definitely looking under my bed tonight. Are we going up? Uh, <laughs> okay, that. Don't do that. Open. Oh, oh we're good. Oh, oh hell no! I've played enough video games to know something's gonna happen. Press the button. Yeah, I'm good. No, come on, bro. Come on, go ahead. Okay, we're good. There's been a while that no one scared us. Whoa, sh I knew it! I knew it! Woo. Light work. Were you scared at all? No. Oh, sh I'm definitely going to do it again. Nope. Bulls Nation, it's Lowry Markin. Want to see the team behind the scenes? Check out all the Run With Us episodes right here.